The series I'll be reviewing today is probably one of the most requested ones I've had since starting this channel. And to be honest, I'm really not all that surprised. It has all the makings of being a successful manga. But, for whatever reason, it never really made it all that big. I mean, it certainly has its fans, hence all the review requests, but it doesn't have nearly as much popularity as many series that are far less deserving. As a result, it definitely deserves some more exposure, and while my channel is pretty tiny and this series is a bit old, I'll give it as much as I can. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Siren. <laughs> Saren follows Ageha Yoshina, a delinquent high school student, with a dead mom, a deadbeat dad, and a heart of gold. So, pretty much one of the most generic action shonen protags you can think of. Anyways, one night while walking home after hanging out with friends, he hears an ancient relic ringing, also known as a public payphone. A bizarre clown-like creature called Nemesis Q lands on the payphone, and Ageha receives a siren calling card. There are a number of these cards floating around, and they let Nemesis Q warp the card holders to a post-apocalyptic future filled with monsters. For shits and giggles. Actually, to be fair, there is some purpose as Nemesis Q does give the card holders the incredibly vague directive to change the future, but for the most part they just change the present by increasing Japan's missing persons count. Anyways, once arriving in the lovely barren landscape that is our future, Card holders need to get back to the present by arriving at an escape point without dying. If they get back to the present, they reduce a point count on the card and get a short break. Then they get to repeat the warp cycle process until the value on their card reaches zero. Oh yeah, also, conveniently, post-apocalypse air grants superpowers, so Agahen and his companions are psychics. And you can expect a lot of superpowered fights. Well. I've pretty much already said all I need to say about our protagonist Agaha, so let's talk about the supporting cast. Amemiya, the lead heroine, is a childhood friend of Agaha's, who gets entangled with Nemesis Q well before he did, and has just a bit of trauma from those experiences. She falls somewhere between being a Sundere and a Yandere, and totally has a thing for Agaha. Oh yeah, she's also a complete badass. Next up, we have Hiryu, another childhood friend of Agaha's. Although he looks like a dumb thug, he's actually very kind and seems to be a mite more intelligent than our protagonist. Then we have a whole bunch of child characters, who I will summarize briefly as Wild Child, Pyro Sundere, Cute Dits, Why So Serious, and No Screen Time Healer. Finally, the last character I'm going to bother talking about is Matsuri. She's already defeated Nemesis Q's game and acts as something of a teacher for Agaha, Amamiya, and Hiryu. She's into drinking, motorcycles, classical music, and is a complete bam. Of course, there's a bunch of other characters who do important stuff too, but I think this gives you a reasonable overview. There's one thing that Siren does that's simple, but helps its story hugely. It presents one continuous story. As odd as it sounds, this is actually really significant because so many action shonen series are heavily fragmented into separate story arcs. Maybe there is an overarching plot, but the individual arcs take precedent and don't advance the main plot all that quickly. Siren, though, is pretty clear about its overarching plot. Find out what caused the future world to be messed up, prevent the future world from being messed up, and survive. Nice, simple, and compelling. That being said, the story is actually surprisingly deep, with a solid mystery through time travel. A lot of time loop stories just have the protagonist reliving the same events until they figure out a solution to go forward, without too much horribleness. Each time our protagonists leap forward in this story though, they have to try and figure out what actually happened in the middle between present and future, and then figure out how to prevent the future horribleness. It's kind of interesting to see this longer time loop where the middle is skipped. Now, 
old time travel and story style aside, let's be frank. This is Action Shonen. One of the main reasons you'll be reading this story is for the fights. And they're pretty well done. Siren manages to hit the sweet spot, where there is character progression in terms of power, but it never goes completely out of control. This keeps the fights interesting instead of, I use my landscape leveling move against you. No, I use my more powerful landscape leveling move against you. Isn't this fun? Tactics and not just raw power is what makes fights interesting, and Siren delivers on that. My main complaint with Siren is that certain parts of the story felt a bit rushed. Kind of an odd thing to say given that it's 16 volumes long, and by no means am I advocating that it should be as long as something like One Piece, it just felt like certain characters never really got enough development, certain plot points were introduced a bit too quickly and resolved a bit too quickly, and power-ups occurred haphazardly. I don't know if this series was under the threat of cancellation so the author had to rush things, or if it was by his own choice, but I figure Siren could have really used an extra 25 chapters or so, and a slightly reduced pace. On a similar note, the way the psychic power system was explained in the story was a bit half-assed. They started out with a good explanation when Agaha was just beginning to develop his powers, but throughout the rest of the story it was pretty much just glossed over. I think they would have been better off giving no explanation at all, and just leaving it as magic, or giving a much more detailed explanation. The half measures used here are just frustrating. So if someone was to ask for a good manga series to introduce them to action shonen or battle shonen genres, this is the series I'd recommend. It's relatively short and easy to finish, its pacing is consistent if slightly fast, and it has one of the more interesting stories in the genre. Obviously, if you're already into action shonen, I would also absolutely recommend it. As for everyone else who is neither curious about action shonen nor into it, well then, probably skip it. Because while it has a solid story, it doesn't do anything groundbreaking that will change your mind about the genre forever. If you've already read Siren and are looking for something similar to read, I would recommend either Tokyo ESP or Gare, both of which are roughly the same length as Siren and have a similar urban fantasy theme. Anyways, that concludes my review. Thanks for listening. Cheers! Actually, before you all leave, there's one other thing I should mention. You know the uh, epic intro at the beginning of this video? I didn't make that. That was made for me by DMC Cloudy. You should check out her channel, she does some other pretty awesome stuff. Especially if you're into Noblesse. Anyways, this really is the end of the video now. Goodbye!